Vous disposez de 3 minutes de préparation. You have 3 minutes to be ready. Welcome to the Women's All Around at the 2015 European Artistic Gymnastics Championships. We are live at the Parking Suites Arena in Montpellier, France, almost seven hours south of Paris. We're in for an interesting all-around final. Since two of Europe's strongest gymnasts are not here in Montpellier, Larissa Yordake and Alia Mustafina are both out with injuries. Without them, the title is pretty much up for grabs. Given how qualifications went on Wednesday, the title could potentially go to any of the top four qualifiers. Maria Kharenkova, Julia Steingruber, Eli Downey, and Erika Fasana. And if they have good days, a Thora Thorstatir and Claudia Fragapani could possibly factor into the medals too. Unlike at the World Championships or Olympics, the qualifiers are scattered around the events. There is no lead seated group made of the top six qualifiers. So there are going to be scores flying all over the place. It's still very much a four ring circus. To so get a shot of Barbara Mokosova of Slovakia warming up on vault. Gymnasts have three minutes to warm up before the competition begins. Usually on vault that means that they get two vaults, a timer and a practice vault, just so they can get a feel of the apparatus. That was Erika Fasana of Italy. And there is Diana Bulimar on the left and Loan East of France on the right. And here's the start list. This is start list for balance beam with Anna Filipa Martins of Portugal going first, and Marta Pihan Kulesha of Poland second, Kristina Senkova of Ukraine, Julia Steingruber of Switzerland, Pauline Stratz of Germany, and Dionali Supriana of Netherlands going last. And the start list for floor with Jana Adlerteg of Sweden going first, and Lorad Jurka of Romania second, Martina Rizzelli of Italy third, brought in to replace Vanessa Ferrari, Ana Perez Campos, Daria Spiridonova, and Ainoa Carmona Urbano of Spain. Jim is finishing up their warm up right now. Shot of Diana Bulimar of Romania. Right there, that's Ethora Thorstatir of Netherlands. And that's Ellie Downey of Great Britain warming up on bars. Gymnasts on bars get a little bit more time to warm up because of the time it takes to prep the apparatus for each athlete. They all like it a little bit different. Sometimes they will take no chalk on the bar. Sometimes they have to set the tension and the height on the bars. They don't get more time to warm up. They just get more time in the warm up time to prep the apparatus. And warm ups are now over. And we'll start with Ethora Thorstatur of Netherlands. 16 years old from Portugal. She's actually born in Rotterdam to Icelandic parents. She's become a fan favorite last year and this year, won a gold medal on floor at the World Cup in Ljubljana, Slovenia. She qualified seventh to the all around. Miss qualifying for floor due to a tie break. She's the first reserve for the floor final. Very nice, Yurchenko full twist. We're not going to see a lot of really difficult vaults here, but we're going to see a lot of fulls and maybe some one and a half. So they're, all gonna, they're all going to be done fairly well, though. Nice power down the runway. Good block, nice twist, just that step forward. That's a, that's a good vault for Ithora, though. That'll get a good score. She's better on beam and floor. Those are her best events. Moving on to Diana Bolimar of Romania, 19 years old from Timisoara. 
2012 Olympian and 2010 Youth Olympian. And unfortunately, she did not have the best day in qualifications. Only qualified 11th for the all around. There's Ethora score 13.7. Her vault only has a 5.0 start value. Here we go with Jana Bulimar. She is a reserve for the bar final. She competed some watered down routines and qualifications because she's coming back from an injury. From back to back injuries, actually. And a good vault for Diana. Landed right on that center line. That's what you want. You have to go high and far, but you also have to travel straight as well. And moving on to bars, this is Claudia Fragapani. 17 years old from Bristol. Qualified fifth into the all round. Of course, she's the four time Commonwealth Games gold medalist. She had a rough start to the season at the American Cup, but has made big improvements at the English and British Championships. Bars isn't her best event, but she can do well here. Winds up for the dismount. Double layout. Just the hop back. That was a good routine for Claudia. Very good routine. Her best events are vault and floor. We'll see those later today. This was the event at the Commonwealth Games that she did not qualify to. She qualified to vault, balance, beam, and floor exercise here, so we'll see more of her this weekend. You hear the French cheering in the background. There's a 13.766 for Diana Bolimar. And all that French cheering was for Loan East, who just went on vault. And here is Bulimar's teammate, Laura Jerka. She's also a Youth Olympian, went to the Games last year. This is her first time competing at a Senior European Championships. She was at the Junior Europeans last year. Helped Romania win a bronze medal. She's very, very tiny. <laughs> And Loan East on vault got a 13.958, puts her in the lead right now. And Laura Jerka is ready to go on floor. Great first pass, great landing. This is a new routine for Laura. Great triple twist. You see how she turns and runs straight into a tumbling pass? That is a new rule in this code of points, Jimmis cannot stand in the corner for more than one tumbling pass. They have to go straight into them. Romania not only has great presence and performance on floor, but they also have great stamina. They're not huffing and puffing at the end of their routines. That was a great routine for Laura. Had really good landings and really good dance. 
She doesn't quite have the highest start value, but she will still get a respectable score. And there's Claudia Fragapani waiting for her score. There it is, 13.4. Puts her in sixth place right now. And here is our first look at a French gymnast. This is Claire Martin, 16 years old from Versailles. She went to the European Championships and World Championships last year, qualified 15th into the all around and qualified to the beam final here. Bars is by far the best event for French gymnasts is definitely their strength. Though Claire doesn't really have a lot of difficulty, see that double pike dismount. La signature de Claire Martin aux asymétriques et à la poutre, la prestation de Mademoiselle Christine Sankova, c'est du crème. And Laura Jerka waiting for her score. And 13.733. We're not seeing a lot of scores above 13. Nothing in the 14 range so far. This is Martina Rizzelli of Italy. She was brought in to replace Vanessa Ferrari. 17 years old from Como. She qualified to the bar final here. So that's the one time she can stand in the corner for a pass. Double layout. Nice job. Italians are very flashy on floor. They like to entertain. They always have great music selection. Full in. Nicely done. Martina has really been improving this year. She's been working a lot on her consistency. Double pike. Great routine for Martina. She'll be pleased with that. She originally did not qualify to the all around because her two teammates had qualified ahead of her, but with the withdrawal of Ferrari, she was able to get a second chance. And there's Claire Martin's score, 11.666. She's mentally preparing for her next event, Balance Beam, as we see the replay for Martina Rizzelli. There's a double layout. It's a decent landing, just the hop back. These days, gymnasts have to stick their tumbling passes cold. They can't hop or step out of them. Julia and on balance beam now is Julia Steingruber of Switzerland. 21 years old from St. Gallen. She's second place qualifier to the all-around. Also qualified to vault, bars, and floor exercise. So we'll see more of her this weekend. This is the event that she actually fell on in qualifications. She can be good here. She can hit. Nice combination there. It's 
It's one of the requirements on balance beam to have an acrobatic series and also to do elements low on the beam like that. Julia is a two-time Swiss national all-around champion, actually swept the competition in 2013 and won five gold medals. Nice punch front. She has a lot of power. You see that a lot on vault and floor. She actually is the two-time European champion on vault and qualified first to the vault final, so she has a great shot to repeat that title. She's coming back from injury. She injured her ankle at the Swiss Cup last fall. Her first competition back was the Austrian Team Open back in February. She won the all-around there. And she has upgraded her second vault again. See more of that. Great dismount. That dismount is actually named after her. A gainer layout with a full twist. And Martina Ritelli gets a 13.333 on floor. And back on floor right now is Ana Perez Campos of Spain. 17 years old from Sevilla. Qualified 20th into the all around. Nice full in. Great music selection too, very dramatic. Whip, whip. Into a double tuck. Very nice job. There's a triple twist. Just like there are requirements on balance team, there are requirements on floor as well. There need to be dance elements like that right there. The shadow jump with the full turn. Oh, that's a shame. That was a great routine up until then. Spain has been trying to pull itself back up a little bit. They used to be great in the late 90s, early 2000s with Esther Moya, Lara Martinez, Patricia Moreno, Elena Gomez. And they have a great gymnast right now, Roxana Popa Nedelku, but she's coming back from a torn ACL. So we won't see her here, but potentially we could see her at the World Championships. There's that double pike, a little short. There's whip whip into a double tuck. And Julia Steingruber gets a 14.375. That's the first score that I've seen today above 13. So we move on to Bars and Ellie Downey of Great Britain. Longtime gym fans know that she is the younger sister of Becky Downey, who's also here in Montpellier. Ellie is 15 years old from Nottingham and qualified third into the all-around. This is her first senior European championship since she qualified third. She was thrilled with that. Little bit of a pause on that handstand. Bars isn't really Ellie's best event, but she can still hit a good routine. She is a 2014 Youth Olympian, actually left Nanjing with the most medals of any female gymnast, took home four medals. Double layout, great routine for Ellie. She'll be pleased with that. She was one of the top four qualifiers I said that could potentially take the title. She does well. 12.466 for Ana Perez Campos. And now here is Russia's Daria Spiridonova. 
She initially was not going to compete the all-around, but after an injury to her teammate, Ella Sosnitskaya, she was subbed in to compete the all-around. Didn't have a great day here in qualifications. Triple twist. Her foot looked like it might have stepped out of bounds a little bit. Double tuck. It's better here than it was in qualifications so far. Dottie doesn't really have the highest difficulty or the most powerful tumbling. She actually shines more on the uneven bars. But even with this not being a great event for her, she can still perform beautifully. That's one thing about Russian gymnasts. They very rarely disappoint in terms of their choreography and performance on floor. Nice, upbeat, fun music. It's the crowd going. You can hear them clapping in the background. Oh no. That was just her last pass, and she would have done well. And Ellie Downey waiting for her score on bars. There it is, 14.233. And here is the first place qualifier, Maria Kharenkova of Russia. This is an event that she's really improved on since she was a junior. She actually qualified to the bar final here, also qualified to beam and floor. One of three gymnasts to do that, the others were Julia Steingruber and Claudia Fragapani. Maria was definitely a superstar as a junior. She won balance beam and floor at the Junior European Championships in 2012 and won the all run at the European Youth Olympic Festival in 2013. Full in dismount. Great routine for Maria. 16 years old from Rostov on Don. She's the current Russian national all around champion and the current European champion on balance beam and has one of the best shots to repeat her title, just like Julia Steingruber on vault. You can hear the floor music for Spain in the background. That skill from the High bar down to the lower, that's called a pack salto. She did that very well. And Speedy Donova gets a 12.3 for her floor routine. She's a European and world bronze medalist on the uneven bars and qualified first to the bar final. So she has the chance to become European champion. And this is a replay of Loan Isis Vault. 16 years old from Nantes, she's French national all around champion. A nice full twisting Yurchenko. France doesn't really have very strong vaulters. They do have one here in Montpellier, Camille Bal, who qualified to the vault finals here. Looks like she pikes a little bit down on that full twist. That is a good vault for Loan. And Maria Kharenkova waiting for her score. For Loan Isis vault, she got a 13.958. Uh, 
and the rotation ends so the girls have to now go on to their next events waiting for a couple of scores left we still have Harenkova score on bars waiting as well as score for Ainhoa Carmona Urbano of Spain on floor And there we go, Carmona Urbano of Spain gets a 12.5 on floor as the group on floor now moves to vault. The group on vault moves to bars, the group on bars moves to beam and the group on beam moves to floor. It's a close up of Ana Filipa Martins of Portugal. She has really burst onto the scene last year. She won Portugal their first World Cup gold medal in Anadia in her in her home country of Portugal won it on floor exercise and has become a really big star for her country in this sport and Harenkova gets a 14.066 for her bar routine And again, just like at the beginning of the first rotation, the gymnasts have three minutes to warm up. The current standings right now are Erika Fasana of Italy in first place with so far the highest score, 14.533 on vault, followed by Julia Steingruber of Switzerland, then Ellie Downey, then Maria Kharinkova. That was the top four that I had mentioned, the top four qualifiers into the all around. And after Harenkova is Loan Is, then Diana Bolimar, Laura Jerka, Ethora Thorostatir, and Barbara Mokosova of Slovakia. Those last two are tied. And Martina Rizzelli, who is brought into replace Vanessa Ferrari is doing a pretty good job already in 11th place and Erika Fasana who is currently leading right now has really been improving in the last year or so she was always a really great gymnast but she's been showing some really decent upgrades and showing not only that she can handle them but she can perform them consistently and that is the most important thing in this sport to be consistent she actually, at the American Cup back in March, won bronze in the all-arounds behind the Americans. You see replay of Diana Bulimar on vault, and then Claire Martin on bars.
and starting on floor for rotation two is Marta Pihan Kulesza of Poland. Music is pretty well known. It's the theme from the Pink Panther. Double Arabian, the nice leap out of it. Very big spin there. Marta is a, definitely a fan favorite. She's been around for a really long time, been to two Olympic games, several European championships. Qualified to the floor final for the third time here at the European Championships. In the front double twist. Twenty-seven years old from Szczecin, qualified tenth to the all-around. She always has great presentation, great choreography. She always really sells the routine, and that's what the judges are looking for these days. They want gymnasts not just to perform them, the routines. They want the gymnasts to sell the routines. They want them to really believe what they're performing. And oftentimes, if they don't do that, they will get a deduction for insufficient artistry. That was her opening tumbling pass. Great combination there. Get her some extra tense in her start value. Reading for her score on floor. As we move on to bars in Loan East of France. This is in fifth after the first rotation. This is one of her best events. She was actually a finalist at the Junior European Championships last year. And here the crowd is totally behind her. Little bit of flex feet in that pack salto. Really nice Van Lee win though. Little bit of a form break. Nice straddled Jaeger. The one almost went to the Youth Olympics last year, but was sidelined with an elbow injury. Great dismount. She seems pleased with that. And came back from her elbow injury at the French National Championships and won the all-around. Even as a junior, she was outscoring all of the seniors in all-around totals. And 14.166 for Marta Pihan Kolesha on floor. Replay of her straddled Jaeger, very nice. And her full in, and she just did not move at all. That was a great dismount. And Daria Spiridonova of Russia on vault.
Yurchenko with a full twist. We're seeing that vault a lot these days. That was a really good vault for Adadia. No shuffling on the landing. It was really nice in the air. Can't really tell if she landed on that center line. Let's see if we can get a better angle. And yeah, that was pretty close. So it's like she landed on it and then hopped a little bit to the side. Loan East gets a 13.966. She actually qualified to bar finals with a 14.2. Hopefully we'll see similar performance in event finals tomorrow. And staying on vaults, this is Ainoa Carmona Urbano. Espirito Nova waits for her score. There it is, 13.7. And she'll move on to her best event, the uneven bars, in the next rotation. Ainoa Carmona Urbano of Spain, 23 years old from Inca Mallorca, qualified to the all around in 19th place. Nice fault. Just the hop back. Nice power down the runway. Same vault we saw from Speedy Donova, the full twisting Yurchenko. Looks like she also landed on that center line and then just bounced off of it. And on floor now is Julia Steingruber of Switzerland. She's currently in second after the first rotation. She's a beautiful performer on floor. Julia's known for her really high and clean dance elements. Huge first pass, a full twisting double layout. Her music is called Resolve by Nathan Lanier. Second pass, a double layout. She qualified first to floor exercise. Double tuck, very nicely done. Julia has been able to get a lot of her old skills back from before her injury at the Swiss Cup. In fact, last year was still downgrading a little bit because of a different injury that she has sustained to her knee. Still managed to defend that vault title last year at the European Championships and win a bronze here on floor. Beautiful exercise from Steingruber. We should definitely get her a good score. Here's her first pass, full twist and double layout. Really great landing. And her second pass, double layout. A little bit of a bounce out of it. She has a lot of power. 
And we'll definitely see that on vault in the next rotation. Double tuck. And there's a the score for Carbona Urbano, 13.6. So we move to Balance Beam and Ellie Downey. Balance Beam is very much a make or break event for a gymnast, even if they're good on beam. Because gymnasts have off days, it happens. Ellie is a good counter to her sister Becky. Becky is the one who is really strong on bars and beam, but Ellie is the one who is good on vault and floor. Create a real nice balance between the two sisters. Punch front, very nice. One of the requirements on beam is to show elements in different directions. You see, she had a front tuck and then a back tuck. And then a series of connected dance elements where one has to be a 180 degree split. And she must include a full turn as well. There's her acrobatic series, nicely done. The tuck side semi. Gymnasts must also show a side passage on the beam, whether it's an element or a little bit of dance. Two and a half twist dismount. Nice routine for Ellie Downey. I'll definitely keep her up in the standings. That balance check on that full turn, that probably is going to cost her a little bit. Really quick, Julia Steingruber on floor is currently leading her score on floor. Has put her ahead of Laura Jerka. So a few gymnasts to go. And there's her score, 14.566. And there's Ellie's score, 13.891 on beam. Puts her in third right now behind Laura Jerka. And European beam champion Maria Kharinkova. She can be absolutely fabulous here. She's very impressive combinations, one after the other. Back handspring, back handspring to a layout. Nice and straight. Free aerial to a sheep jump. In qualifications, Maria was one of only four gymnasts to post a score above 15. And this was the event she did it on. She qualified top into the beam final. She struggled a little bit when she first became a senior, but has really improved and come into her own, especially on this event. She missed the beam final at the world championships last year, despite being European champion.
Dismount. Double pike. Great routine for Maria. She'll be pleased with that. That'll keep her up in the standings. La signature des Pays-Bas aux asymétriques, vous l'avez vu tout à l'heure, et à l'instant même, au sol. Un regard attentif et forcément bienveillant à la poutre, car dans un instant, la Grande-Bretagne sera représentée par Claudia Fragapal et le Portugal avec Mademoiselle Anna Filipa Martins. And Maria Harinkova waiting for her beam score. And Claudia Fragapani is waiting for the green light to go. She can't go unless the uh, gymnast before her, her score has been put up. A little bit of a long wait here. Gymnasts have to get used to waiting for a little bit. Sometimes there are discrepancies between you know, judges for certain scores, so they have to stand around the podium and wait. There we go. 15.0 for Maria Harenkova. So that definitely keeps her up. It puts her ahead of Stein Gruber right now as Claudia Fragapani goes up. At the Commonwealth Games, this is the only event that she qualified for that she did not win. She won team all around vault and floor. She's in showing some improvements here as well. She's been looking absolutely fabulous here in Montpellier. Looks great in podium training. I can't. Oh! And she saved the back layout. Seems like she was a little bit funky in the air. You saw her legs fly apart a little bit. Looked like she may not make it actually to manage to hold on to it big skill here standing full save that too so it's good that she manages to stay on the beam that's important Oh no, spoke too soon. That, that dreaded side summy. It's a hard skill to land because they're landing with their feet sideways, so they have to really squeeze the beam to hold on to it. And double pike with that big step forward. Here's that standing full. She stands a little bit with one foot off the beam entirely, but still manages to save it. And here's that acrobatic series, the back handspring. So back way, I see her legs flying really far apart there. Managed to save that without touching the beam. If a gymnast touches the beam in order to stop them from falling off it, that is a half a point deduction and a fall itself is a full point deduction. And that really big step is gonna be probably five, three to five tenths off. First look at Ana Filipa Martins of Portugal, 19 years old from Porto. This is one of her best events. 
Nice full in. Didn't qualify to any finals here in Montpellier though. Bit of a shame. She's known mostly around the World Cup circuit. Bit like Marta Pihan Kulesha. Loved that dance leap combination. It was really high. Nice memo turn. Gymnaste, vous disposez de trois minutes de préparation. She was eligible for the 2012 Olympics, but because Portugal could only send one gymnast, they had to really pick who was better. A lot of really great dance elements in this routine. Very reminiscent of uh, Julia Steingruber's work on floor. Double tuck. Very nice routine from Anna. Beautiful routine. She got a 13.833 for her floor routine and she's moving on to vault right now. All right, there's her score. And right now the standings after two rotations, Maria Kharinkova right ahead of Julia Steingruber from Switzerland. Laura Jerka has moved up to third place. Ellie Downey in fourth, Erika Fasana in fifth, Loan East in sixth, Martina Rizelli in seventh, tied with Ethora Thorstatir of the Netherlands. The only two countries that qualified at least one gymnast to each event final and the all around are Russia and Great Britain. Netherlands just barely missed this list when Thorstadtir lost a tie break that put her out of floor finals. France missed this list too with uh, Claire Martin only being a reserve for the floor final as well. Great Britain is the only country that qualified two athletes to the all around and every single event final. Very impressive from them. And I mentioned before that uh, Maria Kharinkova, Julia Steingruber, and Claudia Fragapani were the gymnasts who qualified to the all-around in three event finals. They were the most successful gymnasts in qualifications. And in qualifications, Julia Steingruber posted the highest score of the day of 15.366 on vault. She was one of four gymnasts to post a score above 15. The other three were Becky Downey, Maria Kharinkova, and Daria Spilidonova. And Balance Beams on Sunday is going to be the most diverse event final because seven countries are being represented. Julia and Maria are two of three reigning European champions who can repeat and defend their titles. The other one is Becky Downey who qualified to bars. This is our first look at Kristina Senkova of Ukraine. 18 years old from Alchevsk, qualified 23rd into the all-around. And Ukraine has been experiencing a little bit of financial troubles, getting their gymnasts to certain competitions. Great vault from Christina. They actually managed to get help from the FIG in order to make it to Europeans and World Championships. Nice vault, very clean in the air. Just lands to the right of that center line.
waiting for her score. And 13.8 for her full twist in Yurchenko. It's a good score for Christina. And current European vault champion Julia Steingruber. And we're in for a really big score here in the 15s. Julia is a very consistent vaulter. And a very different vault from what you've normally seen. I, there have been a couple of double twisting Yurchenkos here, but this is the first really difficult vault of the all around final. Handspring front layout with a one and a half twist. And it has been improving a lot since her injury. Just that step back on the landing. She's upgraded her second vault back to a double twisting Yurchenko. And hopefully they'll stay that way at the World Championships in October in Glasgow. Great block off the table. And there it is, 15.266, the highest score of the day so far. There is a possibility, however, that that could be surpassed with uh, Spiri Donova going up on bars in this rotation. She could post somewhere in the 15.2, maybe 15.3 range, depends on her start value. And our first look at Barbara Mokosova of Slovakia. For gymnasts like her, they know that they cannot compete with the likes of the top four from qualifications. What they want to do here is their personal best. Because really the determination comes from their love of the sport. First big test here, back handspring, so back layout, nicely done. Those are her two dance elements connected together. She's 17 years old from Bratislava. Free aerial to a sheep jump, qualified 22nd into the all around. A little bit of a check there. Some of these elements that involve changing direction can be tricky for a gymnast. Nice full turn, very controlled. A nice dismount. Here's her acrobatic series again, the back handspring to a back layout. There is a chance that that back layout will get devalued, or at least deducted for not being completely straight. The judges did not used to be so strict on that, but after the World Championships in Antwerp, they were. And a gainer, back pike, dismount, very different. A little bit like uh, Julia Stein Gruber's. Good to see someone doing a little bit different gymnastics. Normally you see the same type of dismounts over and over again. And Ana Filipa Martins of Portugal. Nice vaults. Full twisting Yurchenko. And 
délice à Daoud. And Mokosova gets a 12.7 for her beam routine. Doesn't quite have the highest difficulty. Her start value is only a 5.0. And Anna Philippa Martins gets a 13.833 for her vault as we go to floor. And Ellie Downey waits for the green light. If gymnasts actually perform before the green light, they get a zero. It's happened before at the Olympic Games in Beijing. Uh, Russian vaulter Anna Pavlova vaulted her second vault before the green light went up. And she was not given the opportunity to vault again because she had already touched the apparatus. Here we go with Ellie Downey. Like I said before, she's this is one of her best events. She's definitely a floor worker. Interestingly, this is the event that she fell on in the all run at the Youth Olympics. Great Britain has really been improving. They have a, a little more depth in their juniors now. And they've been doing a lot better on floor as well. And couldn't tell from saying it looked like she may have stepped out of bounds there. Nice double Arabian. Ali was part of the junior British team at the European Championships last year that won silver behind Russia. Great Britain had never placed that high in the junior team final before. She also won a bronze in the all around last year. Last pass. Double tuck. And again, I'm not sure if she stood out of bounds. If her heel stayed off the floor, then she did not step out. And I was right, Daria Spiridonova on bars just now scored a 15.35. Right now puts her in fourth place and, and has surpassed Stein Gruber's score on vault as the highest score of the day. And I thought the Martins gets a 13.833 for her vault. Maria Kharinkova of Russia next. Waiting for the green light to go up. We watched another replay of Ellie Downey's floor there. There's her score, 13.666, and according to the penalties, yes, did step out of bounds. And there we go for Maria Kharinkova. Music is actually a medley of two songs. Entracht from Murder on the Orient Express and Schwartz et Augen by Andre Rio. She has really improved on this event as well. Like I said, she won gold on floor at the Junior European Championships in 2012.
Russia always has really great music selection and choreography. So you whip whip into a triple twist. Little bit short. Just stay to inbound, so that's important. Great routine for Maria. She is definitely in it to win it, that's for sure. Nice double Arabian into a stag jump. She does that so that she can not only get an extra tenth of bonus in her start value, but also so she can disguise the landing and not get any landing deductions. In the previous code of points, gymnasts were allowed to connect more than one pass to a leap or a jump, but with this new code of points for this quadrennium, gymnasts are not allowed to do that anymore. To move on to Romania and Lorad Jerka on the uneven bars. And interesting, Maria Harinkova's score on floor 14 133 has put her in second place behind Julia Steingruber. This has traditionally been a weak event for Romania ever since the departure of the Carolis to the US. They have been showing improvements. They actually wear grips on bars now. They didn't used to do that all the time. They would just compete with some gauze just wrapped around their hands. Full in dismount. That's a good routine for Laura though. She hit all of her skills. She connected everything she was supposed to connect. And she hit the dismount. She doesn't really have the highest start value. So that's what's going to impact her score a little bit. Really nice form on her pack salto though. I really like that. Nice and straight. Knees together. And yeah, there's the 14-1-3-3. She is in second place behind Julia Steingruber. She moved back to floor and Claudia Fregapani of Great Britain. And Claudia is a really wonderful floor performer. She is explosive. She has a lot of personality. A lot of really great choreography as well. Full twist and double layout. Nice job. Even double front. This is a new routine for Claudia. The music is called Papa's Got a Brand New Pig Bag. Triple twist. Normally she connects that into a into a jump. There's that one time that she can stand in the corner for a little bit, catch her breath, double layout, 
beautifully landed. Wow, that was a great routine from Claudia. What a great way to bounce back after a fall on balance beam. Hopefully we'll see that same performance in the event finals on Sunday. Here's that triple twist. And let's step back. That's probably going to be three tenths of a point. See how she makes eye contact with the judges and smiles. Really helps sell her routine if she makes eye contact. Double layout, that was her last pass. And those feet did not move at all. That was a really great landing. It's a very ambitious thing to do, by the way. A double layout as a last pass on floor. And normally gymnasts will do a double pike or a double tuck. But Claudia is definitely not most gymnasts. And Laura Jerka, a 12.866 on uneven bars. With a start value of 5.5. .5. Right now puts her in sixth place. A couple more gymnasts to go, including Jerka's teammate, Jana Bolimar. Claudia Fagapani gets a 14-5-3-3 on floor. Our coach is putting her number back on her leads hard because when she did that backspin towards the end of her routine, uh, if she had kept the number on, then it wouldn't have it would have gotten ripped. So what she does is she takes it off and she the coach will show it to the judges before she competes. That way they have her number. Because normally competing without a number is a point three deduction unless it is shown to the judges beforehand. And here we go, Diana Bulimar. Diana, I, I mentioned before, she is coming back from back-to-back -back knee injuries. Hurt her knee at podium training for the Romanian National Championships, missed the World Championship as a result. And came back, helped Romania win team gold at the European cha Championships last year holds on to that and then was injured again right before Romanian Nationals and missed the World Championships a second time. She's hoping to stay healthy again that's why she's doing watered down routines if she starts upgrading too quickly while she's still recovering from her knee injuries she could possibly hurt herself all over again. Nice full spin. You heard the, that was the floor exercise music for Claire Martin of France. And she got a 13-8-3-3 for that routine. Just waiting for, there you go, there's the dismount. Double pike. Good routine for Diana. Couple of balance checks here and there, but she is a very consistent gymnast has always been very consistent for the Romanian team. Backhand spring, back layout. And that's the end of the rotation, waiting for Diana score. Chest is a little bit down on that. And 
and we missed this earlier. This is Dari Esperidonova on bars. This, I mentioned before this is this is the highest score of the day so far. She got a 15.35 for this routine. Dari has a really beautiful bar work. She's very floaty. She flies really high. Has great lines, great amplitude on her releases. Full-in dismount, really beautiful routine. She'll move on to balancing next. There we go. There we go. That's at 15.35. Still waiting on the score for Diana Bolimar. And finally, Diana Bulimar scores in 13.666, puts her in 11th place right now. And so the top eight is Julia Steingruber of Switzerland in first, followed by Maria Jarenkova, Ellie Downey, Erika Fasana, who we haven't really seen much of today, uh, Martina Ridelli, Laura Jerka, Daria Spiridonova, and Marta Pihan Kulasha. And Julia will be starting the rotation off on the uneven bars. And that is considered one of her weaker events, although she qualified to the bar final here in Montpellier. Interesting to see if she will be able to hang on to that top spot till the very end. And so begins the last rotation. There again are the standings, the top eight. And next eight gymnasts, Thor Satir, Martins, Bulimar, Gohan East, Claudia Fagapani, Pauline Tratz, Moko Sova, Claire Martin, and then Campos, Urbano, Supriana, Diachi, Sankova, Gebeshian, Honti, and Adertag. And here we go. See if Julia Steingruber can hang on to that first place spot. Nice, Ben Lee went to the high bar.
Kinger. A little bit of a leg separation on that pack salto. Really nice release called a Porkina. Very different. Don't see much of those anymore. Double front dismount. And that was a really good routine for Julia. I don't know if it's going to be enough to keep her in first. We'll see. But she's definitely happy with that. There's that Ginger. And back on vault, we have Ellie Downey. And some people were a little bit confused as to why uh, Great Britain sent her here to Montpellier. She didn't have really a great time at the British Championships last month. But after qualifications, people have kind of quieted down about that. She has her double twisting Yurchenko back. That's one of the big reasons that she's here. One of the big reasons that she qualified third in the all around. Very powerful Walter. Excellent double twist. She will definitely be pleased with that. And really quick, Julia Steingruber gets a 13.666 on the uneven bars. Her current all around total is a 57.873. And there it is. She is currently in the lead right now, but we still have a lot of gymnasts left to come. And 14E33 for Ellie Downey. She is second place right now. Maria Kharenkova is up next. She was the first place qualifier. And she needs the vault of her life pretty much here if she wants to get ahead of Julia. Nice vault twisting Yurchenko. And she gets a 13.933 in order for for Maria to go ahead of Julia, she needed a 14.674. So it looks like things are looking good for the Swiss. L'Italie, mesdames et messieurs. Erika Fasana du Rip, évidemment, beaucoup d'énergie. It's a good vault though for Maria. She can't quite do the double twist yet. Doesn't really have the power for that. Maybe sometime in the future. But that was a good vault. She had a really good landing. And there's her score. Puts her in second. And on beam, her teammate Spiti Donova scored a 12.166. Judging by the execution score, she may have had a fall. Mm -hmm. 
pour les Pays-Bas aux assises régionalistes, Cyprien. And there's the top three right now, Julia Steingruber, Maria Kharenkova, and Ellie Downey. Going back to Ainoa Carmona Urbano of Spain on balance beam. Spain has had a little bit of controversy in the last couple of years with their head coach, uh, Jesus Carballo. They've been trying to regroup and rebuild so that they can regain some of that success from the late 90s and early to mid 2000s. There's that side passage, one of the balance beam requirements. Sometimes if the judges feel that the passage was not long enough, they can get deducted for it. Just for simple dancing, you know, facing the side of the beam. And interesting dismount, the punch to a, to a forward twist. Don't see that very often. Back to Vault and Claire Martin of France. And just a Yurchenko layout. I said before that France lacks some decent vaulters, and this is a prime example of that. They have they once had some great success in the mid-2000s as well with Olympic champion Émilie Le Penec in 2004 and European all-around champion Marine de Beauve in 2005. And they're trying to get that back as well. They have a lot of gymnasts who have potential, definitely. You just need to find a way to put it together in competition. And our first look at uh, Dionalis Supriana of Netherlands. She's 15 years old from Jotemir, qualified 16th to the all around, knocked out. Noelle Van Claveren, her teammate, because only two gymnasts per country can compete in the all-around at event finals at a time. So a lot of gymnasts who scored high enough to qualify were bumped out because they were the third highest qualifier from their countries. Double pike dismount. It's a good routine for a Donalis. Uh, doesn't have the highest difficulty. This is actually a, a relatively weak field on the uneven bars here in Montpellier. The only really great bar workers are Becky Downey and Daria Spiridonova. They were the ones who scored above 15 in qualifications on bars. Nice, straddled Jaeger. And finally, I throw a throw here of Netherlands on floor exercise. By far her best event. She is just absolutely captivating to watch on floor. She really sells the routine like it's Black Friday.
Double pike. Nicely done. I mentioned before she won gold on floor at the World Cup in Slovenia earlier this year. Triple twist. She stepped out of bounds on that pass in qualifications. That's what cost her a trip to the floor finals. She lost on a tie break with Romania's Andrea Montiano. One of the requirements, like on balance beam, is skills, acrobatic skills in different directions. You saw she did that free aerial to fulfill that requirement for a forward acrobatic skill. She has a lot of really great spins here, Saw. Right there. Wonderful exercise. See, she's, she was smiling the entire time. She just really knows how to entertain people. There's a two and a half twist. Little bit of a stumble on the landing. I think she didn't quite get her shoulders high enough. Double pike, that was her open tumbling pass. She has really beautiful flexibility and dance elements. And there we go, Diana Lalas Supriana, 12.766. Puts her in 14th right now. She gets congratulations from her teammate. And Claire Martin gets a 12.7. For her vault puts her in 10th right now still a few gymnasts left to go and finally we get to see some of erika fasana of italy I mentioned before that she finished third at the american cup back in march she also took home a silver medal on floor at the uh trofea cita di Jesolo also last month. She is someone who really has been improving a whole lot. She not only can upgrade, she can perform these upgrades well and consistently. And that is key here, consistency in the sport. Music is this really cool remix version of Box Toccata and Fugue in T minor. Her floor score has put her right now in fourth place in the all around behind Ellie Downey. She is probably Italy's best gymnast at the moment. Nice double pike. Really great routine for Erika. Great power in her tumbling passes. And yeah, 14.5. She qualified to floor finals. We'll see her this weekend. and Bulimar waiting for the green light on floor. There's a lot of camaraderie among the athletes here. There are not a lot of people in the world who can do what they do. And so the fact that all the people that can do what they do are in the same room, it provides a lot of friendship among the athletes. Still waiting for the score for a Thora throw starts here. It's 
kind of a long way. You're able to see a whole other floor routine after her, after hers. So, yeah, the score is taking a really long time. Crowd's getting a little bit impatient. A shot of Kristina Senkova of Ukraine fixing up her grips as she's about to go next on the uneven bars. She's in the same situation as Bulimar, though she's still waiting for the score from the previous gymnast. And usually when it takes this long for a score to come up, it usually means that the score is going to go down. And there it is, a 12.666 for Thorstad here. Only a 4.5 start value. That's a little puzzling. Julia Steingruber still the current leader. Still a few more gymnasts left to go. You hear the boom boom clap of We Will Rock You. Le public est là. The crowd has to find a way, other ways to be entertained while they're waiting for scores to come up. And finally, Diana Bulimata will be up. And Throw Shots here is in 10th place in the all around. This is a new routine for Diana. Double layout. This routine isn't as downgraded as some of her other routines. She still does some pretty big skill for someone coming back from back to back knee injuries. Piked full in, a little bit of a step forward. Diana has been criticized before for not really having a lot of expression in her routines, but this is a really great choreography set for her. Much improved from her previous routines before. Double pike, nicely done. And you see that single acrobatic element, just that to fulfill the requirement of acrobatic skills in different directions. You must also need to include uh, a salto with at least one full twist and a double salto, whether it's double front or double back. And that's the pass she had a problem with in qualification. She actually almost put her hands down. But here it looks like she stood it up. It looks like she may have stepped out of bounds just a little bit. There is still gymnast to go after her, Loan Issa France. She did better though. Diana did a lot better here on floor than she did in qualifications, that's for sure. And she gets a 13666 for her routine. And yes, she did step out of bounds on that last pass. There's a double layout. And feet do not move at all. You can hear the French crowd in the background cheering for Loan East, who is up next on floor. There's that pike full in. Landed with her chest a little bit low, so she had to take a step forward to secure that landing. And there's her score. 13.666 puts her in 10th place right now. Le 
And Loan East is up now on floor. She is not only French national all around champion, she's also national champion on floor. The French always have wonderful presentation on floor. Great choreography. Full in, nicely done. Shades of Carmen in her floor music. If she hits this routine, the French crowd is going to be absolutely overjoyed and you can hear the French crowd behind her going ale 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 that means come on nice double twist double turn with the leg held up in front of her very difficult turn they must only do it so they can get that extra bit of start value She is the last gymnast up in this all-around final. There's really no better way to end this all-around final here in Montpellier than with a French gymnast. Nice spin there. Beautiful routine from Loan Is. And we'll wait for her score before we give you the final all-around results. There's that double twist. And Loan East gets a 13.533 for a floor routine. And that means that Julia Steingruber is the first ever Swiss European all around champion. Never before done for Switzerland. Maria Harinkova of Russia is, wins the silver medal. And Ellie Downey of Great Britain, the bronze. Erika Fasana will just miss out and take fourth place. Anna Filipa Martins of Portugal. This is a fantastic accomplishment for Julia, especially coming back from an injury. So this will definitely be a huge boost in self-confidence for her. And Martina Ritelli of Italy, replacing Vanessa Ferrari, does well. Ninth place, ahead of Diana Bulimar. Loan East finishes 11th, and Athora Thorstadt here, 12th place. And Harinkova's teammate, Spiridonova, finishes in 13th. And Lermata in 16th. Well, like I said, I said it would be between the top four qualifiers, and it was. The order was just swapped a little bit, switching out Steingruber and Harinkova's spaces. Really great all around final, I would have to say. It's refreshing to uh, see someone who ordinarily would not be in the spotlight. Like I said before, Alia Mustafina and Larissa Yordaki, they're Europe's you know, two strongest gymnasts and they're both out with injuries. Had they both been here, then the title would have been between them. But with them not here, the title goes to Julia. Julia's been around for several years now, is actually an Olympian, competed in London, and was a world vault finalist in three world championships. 
and is the frontrunner to repeat her European title this year. And Maria Hudding Gova second, and Ellie Downey in her first senior European Championships wins the bronze medal. We'll see her and her sister in the event finals this weekend. The bronze medal is presented by Mr. James Plateau, French Gymnastic Federation President. The silver medal is presented by Yvette Brazier, President of the Technical Committee for Artistic Gymnastics in the UHI. And the gold medal presented by Charles Galtek, UHI President. Les cadeaux Little et Marcel, les chocolats de la société Cémois, sont remis par les hôtesses, accompagnés de M. Fabien Habert, maire adjoint chargé des sports de la ville de Montpellier, et par M. Joël Apati, vice-président du conseil régional du Languedoc-Roussillon, chargé des sports. The presents Little Marcel and the chocolat Cémois are presented by the hostess and Mr. Fabien Habert, vice mayor of Montpellier, and Mr. Joël Abati, vice president of the Montpellier area. And that should do it for the European Championships here in the Park and Suites Arena in Montpellier. Thank you so much for tuning in.